So this is very interesting. It's taken the government 40 years for the ban on dietary fat to be lifted. So check this out. In 2015, the advisory committee for the U.S. Dietary Guidelines finally lifted the ban on total dietary fat. They removed the upper limit of fat, so you can now consume as much fat as you want. There's no restriction on consumption of fat. And there's no longer any association between lowering your dietary fat to reduce your cholesterol, to help you lose weight, to help reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Now, this relatively new shift, well, it's not really new because it was five years ago, is mind-blowing that it took them 40 years to finally come out and tell people that, okay, you know, it's okay to consume fat. Now, you think after five years of having these new guidelines that it would be broadly promoted. And even in the grocery stores, you'll still see tons of food being low fat. When in fact, the U.S. Dietary Guidelines, which has been our guiding force of what to eat for the last 40 years, it's actually, this change is right in their documents. It's right on their website, but apparently it's, no one's reading it. In fact, when you look on the back of any label in the grocery store, it'll say nutrient facts, and it lists the total fats, the fiber, the carbohydrates, the protein. When they actually have the total fats, they still have this little thing on there saying percent of DV, and they're still operating off of this outdated concept that you want to keep your dietary fats at 30% of the total calories, the, the saturated fats. So this has been going on for a decade. They need to update that and basically remove total fats right off the label. Why? Because there's no evidence that shows that it creates any problem. When you do keto on a high-fat diet, you absolutely positively do not have to worry about these fats harming your heart or raising your cholesterol. What people should emphasize, and definitely on the back of the labels, is the refined carbohydrates. The amount of refined sugars that are in that food, that is the driver of heart disease, obesity, and chronic inflammation. In summary, I just wanted to tell you that you don't have to worry about total fats because even the U.S. Dietary Guidelines is telling us there's no restriction on the consumption of fat. There's no upper limit. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.